Good morning to everyone. I am Gaurav Gupta, as your mathematics teacher. Today we will discuss our unit 1, which one is your real number. Before to start the video, I request to everyone, please listen to me and watch carefully. And there is no need to continuously note down the matter. Because at the end of the main slide or before Ravi, I will give time to take as a screenshot or note down the whole map. So don't waste your time. Let's see comes on our topic. Which one is your real number? As its name, real plus number. It means it has two parts. First one is your real and second one is your numbers. And we all know about the numbers. Numbers are like 0, 1, 2 and so on. We have different numbers. And we take some numbers and assign a name. Which one is called a number system. For example, decimal number system. Everyone know about the decimal number system. Any number which consists from the 0 to 9 digits is called a decimal number. But as we are on 10th standard, we have different kinds of numbers. So today, what are the numbers and we will discuss what types of numbers. Take a look. Firstly, we have a number, natural number. And what are the natural number? First number is your natural number. The number starts from 1. And 2, 3, up to and so on. It means its starting point is 1. But last limit we don't know. So that number is called natural number. Again I repeat that. The number starts from 1. And last limits we don't know. It may be anything. That number is called natural number. And natural number is represented by as its name spell natural it's represented by capital N. So natural numbers are 1, 2, 3 and so on. These are the natural numbers. I hope this will be clear to you. So come on your next number. That one is your whole number. Whole number and natural number are the same number. There is only difference of one digit and that digit is 0. If we include digit 0 to natural number, then it becomes a whole number. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. This one is your whole number. It is represented by capital W. Now, one question arises, and this question will put on your final exam. Which one is your question? Now, question is your are all natural numbers whole number? Question is your are all natural numbers are whole number true or false? It means you give answer in terms of true or false. This in will tell are all natural. It means is all natural number include in whole number? The option is yes because the whole number contain all the natural number plus a digit zero false. It means statement is true. Now second question comes are all whole numbers the so second question is are all whole numbers are natural number the answer will be no false why because whole number contain digit 0 but 0 is not including natural number so 
1 to up to n all numbers are present in natural number but zero number is not present in natural number so this statement is false i hope this question will be clear to you okay we go to your next number is your integer number Zero plus minus one plus minus two and so forth. The number starts from zero and it go in both directions, either in positive direction or in negative direction. It means the number zero plus one plus two plus three and so on. Similarly, negative one, negative two, negative three and so on. These are all whole numbers are called integer numbers and we divide the integer number in two categories it will be integer positive or integer negative it means positive integer or negative integer integer numbers are represented by capital letter w integer numbers are represented by capital z and it categorized in two z positive and z negative integers are classified in two categories first one is your positive integer and second one is your negative integers positive integer means it goes in positive directions right? plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on and negative integers indicates negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 And so, on. it means the positive integers are plus one, plus two, plus three, and so on. And negative integers are minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on. These are the integers number. Now again, a question arises: It not include zero. Zero is also an integer number. Zero is also an integer number, and it has a definite use. Um, zero number is basically used to count the number of objects. Now, count the number of events. Suppose we have to count the number of markers. If I have no marker, and it will be represented, how we will represent it on our notebook? It means we have no notebook marker, so we. Represented it by zero. So zero is either be positive or negative. So zero is a integer number. I hope clear to you. Please make a look. Now we will discuss our next number is real number. As you know, the chapter name is your real number. And what are the real numbers? It's very easy to find out which one number is real number or non-real number. The simple definition is any number whose square is positive is called a real number, and it can be represented on a number line. Again, I repeat it: any number whose square is positive, and it will be represented on it a number line, is called a real. Now, so take an example to find out which one is a your real number and which one is your non-real number. Take a look. Positive two. Take a scale. It means we will get the number positive. Positive. Four. It means it's a real number because definition says. But the definition said any number whose square is positive is a real number. It means two is a real number. Take another one example. Negative two. As you know, square of negative number is. 
also a positive number so it means square of negative 2 is positive 4 and positive 4 will indicate positive number it means it also a real number take another example square root of positive 2 will give us positive 2 because square root square will cancel the square root and we will get the number positive 2 it means we get we got positive 2 it means it's also a real number now take another one example square root of negative 2 means square root of negative number gives us negative number so there is condition fail of real real number it means it is not a real number this number is your non real number clear any number whose square is positive is a real number and if it is negative then it will be a non real number and non real number is also called imaginary number this one is imaginary number so these three are real numbers and this one is your non real number i hope this will clear to you please make a look so real numbers are represented by r e and the numbers which are is non real are represented by i m i m indicate imaginary number now next number is your complex number in the 11th class you will study that because it's a combination of both real number and non-real it means complex number is real number plus imaginary number. complex number indicates the addition or the combinations of two number first one your real number and second one is your non real number if we combine a number that also a real number as well as also a non real number both the combination of real and non real number is called a complex number and it is represented by a graph for example if you have to represent a real number on a number line axis for example we have to represent 2 on a number line when well, how we will represent it this one is your cartesian plane it indicates x axis and y axis but if we have to represent only a number then we take a number line axis this one is your number line axis so this one is your number line axis and this one is your cartesian plane so we have to represent 2 on a number line system so this one is 
is your number 2 so it's a representation of a number 2 on a number line axis so it's indicate real numbers it indicates real number and suppose we have to represent a imaginary number then we have to use on y axis or you can say that if we use a number line in horizontal direction it will act as your real axis if we take a number line vertically it will act as your imaginary axis suppose if we have to represent negative 2 negative 2 negative 2 basically indicate here is your imaginary number so we have to clear real axis or horizontal axis vertical axis represent your imaginary axis and horizontal axis is represented your real axis and if we have to represent a number which one is your complex number both combination of real number as well as your imaginary number it will present on your Cartesian plane for example if we take real number as 2 and imaginary number take as negative it means positive to indicate your x axis and negative to indicate your imaginary axis not now real number and imaginary numbers are all the real numbers but we have used the different representations if we take x axis then it will be a your real number if we take vertical axis then it will be a imaginary number so imaginary number is presented different manners but it also a real number so this is one is your imaginary axis and x axis is your real axis so 2 and negative 2 this one is your, is your complex number please make a look our next number is your rational number and what are the rational number? Any number, if we can write in terms of fraction, it means in terms of p by q form. For example, any number if we can represent in terms of p by q format and q will not equal to 0 is called in real rational clear any number if we can write in terms of p by q and q never equal to be 0 that number is called rational number why I called q not equal to 0 suppose if we take 0 3 divided by 0 here p is equal to 3 and q is equal to 0 and not divided because if any number is divided by 0 nothing you will be get it means you will get infinite number or you can say that not different it means we have not know the number what will be the solution of this so any number which can be right in terms of p by q and q not equal to 0 because q make it as a not defined so the condition you have to clear in your mind q never be equal to 0
So any number which can be right in terms of this is called a rational number. We have so many numbers. For example, 3 by 2, 7 by 2, 5 by 3, 2 these all are the your rational numbers. I hope this will clear to you. Okay. Now our next number is irrational number. Any number which are not rational number, absolutely it will be a irrational number. The condition is that the opposite of the rational number. Any number which we can't represent or in a number line, or you can say that it cannot be right in terms of p by q format, then it will be a irrational number. For example, we take pi. Pi is a irrational number which has value. 3.148 so on. It is an irrational number. Why it is irrational number and what are the conditions of irrational number? We will discuss next. So you have to clear in your mind any number which can be right in terms of p by q and q now equal to be 0 which will be called as a rational number and any number which cannot be represented on a number line and it cannot be right in terms of p by q format then it will be a your irrational number there are so many numbers i write single one your pi see for simplicity we can uh, we will write it as 22 by 7 but it is not an approximate value of pi it's just an approximation not the exact value it's just a approximation approximate value of the pi so pi is an irrational number. There are so many numbers. For example, root 2, root 3, these are all, all irrational numbers. Further we will discuss what are the next conditions to be an irrational number. I hope this will be clear to you. Please make a look. So come on, our next number is terminating numbers. What are the conditions of a number to be a terminating number? And next number is your non-terminating. How we will check our number is terminating or non-terminating? Firstly, we have to clear about what's the meaning of the termination. For example, if we take a rational number. rational number 3 divided by 2 and if we solve it what we will get 1.5 it means it will terminate terminate means terminate it means it has a final point if any number which we divide by any number and you will get its end point Either it is to be in one digit, one point decimal digit, two decimal point digit, three decimal point digit and so on. But the condition is you will get the terminating or last end point. So any number, which one is your real number, rational number and you have to check it is terminating or not terminating. You have an option. Just simply divide it and to get the final point. If you will get the final point. It means it will be a terminating number and otherwise it will be a non-terminating. For example, if we take another example, 10 by 3 and if we divide 10 by 3, what we will get? We will get 3.3333 up to 
it means we don't know the end point or the final points so this number is your non terminating number and this one is your terminating number any number if we divide by some one number and we will get the final point is called a terminating number if we not get the final point it will be a non terminating number are you clear to you okay now next number is your reoccurring number reoccurring number means any number it is non terminating number. it will not terminate there is no final point but some pattern of digits will repeat either it one digit will be repeat two digit will be repeat three digit will be repeat it means the number of digits according to its pattern will repeats that number is called reoccurring number for example this one is your 10 by 3 is your 3.33 it's a non terminating type and non terminating plus reoccurring number because dc 3 3 3 3 is repeats and it can be represented as 3.3 bar bar indicate that the dc 3 is continuously repeat and we have not its end point so that number is called a non terminating reoccurring number and this number is your terminating number. clear terminating number and non terminating number so reoccurring number is basically a non terminating number take another example 2.79 79 here digit 797979 continuously repeat and we have not end points it means it can be represented as simplicity 2.79 bar simplicity for simplicity we can represent it as 2.79 bar it indicates the number of digits 2 7 and 9 continuously repeat in such a manner so these number are called non terminating but recurring or another name is repeated number the number is also called repeated non terminating but repeated number are called recurring number i i hope this one will clear to you please make a look now how we will check our number is terminating or non terminating there is two method one method is to divide simplicity but it's a long method and if the question put up in your exam to find whether this number is your terminating or non terminating without any division then how you will find out which one number is your terminating and which one is your non terminating there is certain rules by follow them we get easily whether the number are terminating or non terminating please make a look suppose example example to divide by 125 and you have to check it's a terminating number or it's a non terminating the question is like this one will be very typical if we divide Two by one point five. So we have to follow certain rules. What are the rules? 
please note down if if you know two is your numerator and one twenty five is your denominator. You have to check the only the denominator. If the denominator has a factor, the whole factor of two or five or both means means if you have a factor of 2 or 5 or whole the combination of 2 and 5 the number is your terminating please make a look so if the denominator has all factors either 2 5 or both the combination of 2 and 5 and number is your terminating time here denominator is 125 and 125 is cube of 5 it means the number is 2 divided by cube of 5 so we will get cube of 5 and we have all the factors of 5 it means if we divide 2 by 125, we will get a terminating number. Take another one example. Three one two five six seven divided by three one two five. Same manner. Three one two five is fifth power of 5 it means the denominator has all terms in terms of 5 so this number is also a terminating number take another one example 6 divided by 32 and 32 is fifth power of 2 and fifth power of 2 is 32 it means we will get all the factors in terms of 2. So, 6 upon 32 is also a terminating number. Take another one example. 317 divided by 40. And 40 basically 4 into 10, 4 means 2 square, 5 means 2 into 5, what we will get? Third power of 2 multiplied by 5. So 3, 1, 7, 3 into 5. Means we have all factors in terms of 2 and 5. So this number also in terminating now please make a look now take another example 31 upon me 24 24 2 2 are 4, 2 are 8, 3 are 24. It means we have cube of 2 and 3. It means this has factor of 2, also a factor of 3. It means this condition will fail. So this number is not your terminating number. This one is your
non terminating number take another one example Thirty one upon one hundred. Hundred means ten square, or you can write as thirty one two into five square. Thirty one upon one two is about five, and five is to power two. So we can include both the factor two and five. So this number is also your terminating. numbers i hope this portion must be clear to you please make a look now we come on our next number is your prime number prime number i think everybody will know the number which divides by itself itself or by one it means the number which has only two factors it wants one is your one and second one is your number itself that number is called a prime number it means the number not divided by the third number for example 2 3 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 is divided by 1 Also divided by two, but not divided by third digit, so it will be a prime number three. Same divided by one and divided by three, but not divided by another digit. Same, so you can check divide by one and its number. We have to check out the third number which divide that number. If some number divide it rather than or other than one and itself. that number is called prime number so you have write so many numbers first question is the minimum or first prime number is your 2 we never take 1 because 1 is your not a prime number prime number starts from 2 now next number is your co prime number. what are the co prime numbers co prime numbers come in same means those prime number which has only single factor common that is one no other factors are called the co prime numbers for example if we take 3 7 3 and 7 both are the prime number and it has only A single factor common, which one is your one, means we can write three into one, also three, seven into one, also seven. So three and seven are the prime number, and combined three and seven is called a co-prime number. So those numbers which has only a one common factor, and also one common factor is only one. that number sal or co prime number it means there is no other factor common than one are called the co prime number the so next number is your composite number composite numbers are those number which has a factor common one also other than one it means or you can say that any number which can be divided by different numbers separate them one and itself it means any number if we divide rather than one and itself if it will be divided we get a number is called composite numbers so the minimum composite number or the first composite number is 4 because it divides by 1 it divides by 4 it also divide by 2 it means it has three factors 
itself and other than two of these numbers are called a composite numbers please make a look let's we discuss one or two questions which are also put in your exam first question is your are uh, all integers are rational number it means are all integers numbers are rational numbers I mean is true or false this question ask you all integers it means we have to include all integers integers start from 0 1 2 and so on negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and so on and ah all these integers number are rational number we have to check the condition either it is filled or not we have now rational number are those number which fulfill the condition p by q if we write these numbers in terms of p by q then it will be a rational number and we write every numbers divided by 1 because if we divide any number by 1 it will not affect the result it is clear so these all integers numbers are also rational numbers so i hope this video this video will help you to solve out such type of questions which are based on your number system uh, this one include some one marks question true or false so if you follow this you have clear all the one marks question and this will makes the basics of your next chapter so be alert to take or to watch at least two times so that every topic each topic will clear to you because it makes your base thank you we will meet on our next video